Brennan, Sarah, the judge called this a very tough case, saying nobody wins at the end, and she did sentence Spencer Kraus to 11 years in prison. Now, those who knew 25-year-old Ben Lovett showed up in numbers, and there wasn't a single empty spot in the gallery. Videos of Lovett's fellow South Windsor officers were played by the prosecutor, each describing what he was like as a person, saying Lovett was very mature at his age and had already accomplished a lot and loved his job as a police officer. Lovett's parents also spoke, of which we were not allowed to record during the sentencing. But his mother, Diane, was in tears, saying celebrating holidays and birthdays without her son has been the absolute worst. Love its father, Rob, brought an urn with his son's ashes and wore the hat his son wore the day of the crash. At one point, his father looks at Spencer Kraus and said, this is all I have left of my son, rot in hell. An accident is something unforeseen. This was foreseeable. And it happened after a sequence of events that he did every step of the way. And he is the only cause of this crash, his decisions and his actions. I was very troubled and depressed for many years before I turned to alcohol to ease the pain I was in. But I've come to learn that not only did my alcohol use destroy several lives, it also hurt my family, relationships, my friends and me. I want you to know that I accept full responsibility for my actions and understand that there is a price to be paid. Now, aside from his 11 years in prison, Kraus must make a yearly $300 charitable donation to the South Windsor Explorers program. He also must continue to take his mental health medications and not touch any drugs or alcohol. I'm live in Rockville, Carmen Chow, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.